Hi, this is a uh, short video to show uh, a specific piece of functionality in the sheet metal module for Creo Elements Direct Modeling. Um, we, we, I think you all appreciate how difficult it is to build um, sheet metal parts from scratch from the ground up. Um, I've got a few examples here where you can uh, effectively create a solid shape and convert it into a sheet metal part. So let me just go into my um, my options here. So if we take this for instance, um, this is a solid block. It might be a cowling for a machine or a cover or something like this. And to build that in 3D uh, as a sheet metal part from scratch really is an awkward thing to do. So within the sheet metal module, we have a new option, or not new today, it was a, a new option in a previous release, um, but there is an option now called New by Solid. It's going to create a new sheet metal part called Sheet 1. We're going to use the default materials. Uh, I'm going to convert that and I'm going to use air bending. I'm going to pick an internal radius of 4.5. Okay, now what it's asking me to do is uh, if I actually view the status bar, it's asked me to cl click the, the bent edges. So I'm going to say, well, that is a bent edge. That is a bent edge. Uh, that one. Uh, that one. And when I pick this one, it automatically knows that these other two edges have to be cut. And when I select that one, that bottom edge. So effectively, it's going to say, well, if these are all folded, those edges need to be cut. Now this is a solid uh, model although I don't want the mass at the back. So if I now just say accept you'll see what happens and it now creates me my new part and obviously it's a, uh, a sheet metal part which I think is is really quite neat. Uh, let me just unfold that so uh, if I go in and unfold the part and say this is the base face Okay, and then we can show it unfolded like so. Okay, which is pretty cool. So, the next one I have, uh, I won't run all three uh, examples, but the next one I've got to show you is this sort of stepped uh, solid part. Again, uh, it's a solid model. Uh, you have to forgive the little labels that I've added. That's just to remind me uh, of the steps to make. Um, so again, if I choose new by solid, uh, this time I'm going to pick air bending. Uh, I'm going to pick a radius of 1.5. The first thing I need to do is create some mitre points. So I need to create a mitre. So create mitre between this point and this point, and create one between that point and that point. Okay. So now that I've done this, I can effectively say that uh, that is a bent edge, and that 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 etc. Uh, as I start to move down this edge it will start to show which will be the cut edges and it will work that out automatically. It seems obvious but it's quite a neat uh, certainly a, a huge time saving uh, example. So here we are we've defined all of our bent uh, edges and the system has automatically identified where the cut edges will be including where I put the mitres so it can run along there Right, so if I select OK, it will go through and it will calculate this. OK, there you go. So here is my sheet part, which is pretty cool. And I'll also show you in the unfolded. Select that with the base face and say OK. Because one of the things that it also does here is that it shows you... Uh, these magenta faces are effectively where the bend deformation will be. So when you're folding the metal, these faces will deform uh, as they're not uh, fixed um, geometrical faces. Okay, let me just uh, unfold that. Uh, refold part, say okay. Uh, okay, here we go, and fit screen. Okay, there's my sheet metal part. And that concludes my short demonstration of the new by solid command within 
the sheet metal module for Creo Elements Direct Modeling. Thank you.